Yeah, good morning, one and all. Okay, today let us go to the one of the very important topic, number systems. This is the first topic in the booklet we kept for this semester. This will comes under quantitative aptitude. Number systems, very, very, very important topic for all computer exams where our quant is there, right? In this, the different concepts, what we are going to focus is very, very important is units place or last digit. I'll explain one by one, don't worry. This is the outline what we are going to discuss in this topic number systems units place are last digit next one factors are divisors divisibility concept lcm and hcf the other one followed is reminder these five concepts we are focusing in number systems topic five concepts units place okay last digit factors divisors divisibility lcm and hcf all this okay we'll start one by one okay very very important for all computer exams out of all this is number system is okay last digit is very very important divisibility very very important lcm is very important and for few high level packages they are asking reminder concept reminder concept generally they'll ask for high level packages okay now let's start with units place or last digit still some of you people have a doubt what is this units place or last digit okay don't worry we'll explain one by one see the question format will be like this they may ask you find the the question format i'm giving you here find the units place find the units place in 123 power 1025 factorial they may ask question like this my dear friend even though calculator allowed you imagine okay you want units place when you find this expansion 123 power 1025 factorial or simply 1025 also no problem you want to find units place here this will take too much time to solve the question 123 power 1025 now, how can you solve these type of questions within few minutes or maybe we can say within a minute is what important challenge for us. And those who are interested, you can start writing program for this concept also. Those who want to go for higher level packages, you can start writing program for this concept. Okay, before going for this question, this is the format. I just want to inform you this type of questions they are asking. Simply, I can say this is the format of the question. Slowly we'll go for that next level. I'll just okay start with the simple thing like find last digit. We'll go for that question later. First, start with the basic. Find last digit in 112 into 134 multiplied by 117. My difference, if you want this one in this product, I want last digit. Last digit means nothing but call units place only, right? I want last digit in this product. You have to do the entire product. 112 multiplied by 134 multiplied by 117. Then in that entire product, uh, finally, I want what is the units place or last digit, right? Now, don't waste your time by multiplying this entire. Pick only units place here. Because I want last digit. Take only last digit. Okay. 2 into 4, 8, sir. 8 into 7. 18 to 7 is how much? 56. Your answer is 6. Units place, right? 56 also, what is units place? Here our focus is only on units place, my dear friend. Keep in mind that. So, here units place is nothing but equal to 6. Your answer should be simply, we have to go with 6 only. 6 is the answer. I hope you understand that last digit now. In every number, units place is nothing but called last digit. They ask product of this, what is the units place in this? Don't do the original product. Pick the units place only, do the multiplication. Okay, 18 to 7, 56, but still, I want in 56 also units place only. Your focus is only on units place or last digit. Keep in mind that. Okay, now let's see about the other question. We are starting from basic here. We are not moving for directly to the next level. We are starting with the basic. Slowly, we'll go for the next level questions. Let's see the next question. 
I hope you understand that previous one. Now, let's see about, they may ask you, find last digit in, find last digit in 121 power 5 into 131 power 10 into 141 power 15. They may ask question like this also, right? So first basic thing you have to know is you want only last digit or units place. Take units place only. My question is here 121 power 5. Hope screen is visible. Okay, 131 power 10, 141 power 15. Right now what is the units place here? 1. So 1 power 5. Take only units place. Here 1 power 10, 1 power 15. You know 1 power positive value is anyhow 1 only. So the product is finally 1. Your answer is 1, my dear. Sir, 121, right? Why you taken 1? Our focus is only on units place or last digit. Keep in mind that. Okay, so just I given the previous example, what is the units place or last digit? Now here in the power, 121 power 5, 131 power 10, 141 power 15. What is the units place you came to know, right? Now, Go for the next level. This is all slowly we are understanding the basics. Then we will apply for the next level. Now see the question my dear friend. Find last digit in 135 power 121. Now this is big term. 135 power 121. You need to find the last digit. Right? Okay, now first of all we will write 5 power 121. I hope you understand why we are writing 5 power 121 because of units place. 5 is the units place here. So write 5 power 121. Okay, good. Now 5 power 121 you have to start analyzing. 5 power 1 is nothing but 5, is it? 5 square how much? 25 units place is 5 dear. Guys, see 5 square is 25, units place is 5. 5 cube 125, units place is 5. 5 power 4, 625, units place 5 only. Right? So, one point you keep in mind 5 power n always end with 5 if n is positive integer. If n is positive integer, 5 power n is always ending with 5 only. So, whether it is 5 power 121 or 5 power 1021 also, your answer is 5. This is analysis dear. So, keep in mind from here onwards, whenever 5 power n comes into picture, we got answer as 5. This is not biotic. We analyze. This is what analysis. We have to analyze that. So, this is what the analysis we came to know. Clear? Right. See the next question. I hope you got it. Please copy this question, please. Everybody copy this one. I show the previous slide also. You can copy it. Last digit in 135 power 121. We have the analysis here. 5 power anything will end with 5 only. That is 5 power 1, 5 power 2, 5 power 3, 5 power 4, all ending with 5 only. So we said 5 power 121 is nothing but 5. And copy the previous thing also. Okay, if you are not yet done, please copy this. We expect you people to maintain the running notes. If not, then please copy this. The last digit in 121 power 5. 131 power 10, 141 power 15. Introduction after space is given to note down all this theory in your booklet. So please use the same. 
and this is the format of the question which we are given 123 power 1024 that big terms they will give in the exam we will go ahead with that don't worry we will discuss all those things no issues <coughs> and here there is one more example we discussed to find the last digit last digit in 112 into 134 multiplied by 170 Fine, let's see about the next one now. I hope you are done so far. Good. Now see the next question. Find. So far you discussed five, right? You have to get the idea of one important thing. That is zero or one or five or six, you know, you will get units plus zero or one or five or six only. So what do you want to convey here? In the sense I want to say, like suppose 1416, 416 power. I want to calculate 416 power 127. What is the unit place is 6 only. Why sir? This is first of all 6 power 127. This is my next question. This is the outline actually whether it is 0 or 1 or 5 or 6. Your answer also 0, 1, 5, 6 only will get. If 0, 1, 5, 6 is occupying the units place, here 6 is there means you will get answer 6 only. Here units place 5 means you will get 5 only. Units place 0 means you will get 0 only. Why sir? See about 6. 6 power 1 is nothing but 6. 6 square 36. Units place is 6. Keep in mind our focus is only on units place here. 6 square is 36, units place is 6. 6 cube is 216, 216, units place is 6 only. 6 power 4, 1296. 6 power 4, 1296. How else you write like this? 6 power is 6 square into 6 square set. So 6 square means units place is 6. Here 6 square means units place is 6. 6 into 6 is 6, 36 and units place is 6. You can do in a different style. You no need to find 6 power 4 value. Sir, I don't know 6 power 4. No problem. You can write it as 6 square into 6 squares. For 6 square units place is 6. For this 6 square units place is 6. Product is nothing but okay, ending with 6 only. Right? So, see this. Okay. So, definitely 6 power. 460 means we will write 6 power. 6 power n, we came to know it's nothing but 6. Where n is positive integer. We already concluded n positive integer. If n is a positive integer, then obviously 6 power all this, we can take it like 6 only. 6 power n ending with 6. So 5 power, 1 power, all those will end with same only. This is what? 5 power n ending with 5. 1 power n also, you know, ending with n only, obviously. Right? 0 power n also ending with 0. So 0, 1, 5, 6, always units place is there, power something, definitely end with respect to 0, 1, 5, 6 only. Okay, this is one part. Now, the difficulty is regarding 2, 3, 7, 8. 2, 3, 7, 8 is having cyclicity 4. 2, 3, 7, 8 is having cyclicity 4. What is that cyclicity will be discussed, but I hope you copied this so far. 0, 1, 5, 6. Okay, 0, 1, 5, 6 only will come. And 6 power n <coughs> ending with 6 only. Up to here, please copy it. We'll go for the remaining part. Copy up to here. We are not yet done with this units place. We have just started. We'll discuss the examples. You have to know first what is units place, your last digit, then if it is power something, how to analyze that. And if you are good in this concept, you can start writing program also. Don't use math.h or some syntaxes. You try to start writing program, then you can learn a lot of things. Don't use the predefined syntaxes and all. If you use predefined syntax, hardly in one line you can do in Python also. But you start working on the logic there.
right okay now let's see what is this 2378 cyclicity for meaning is listen if the question is like find units place in the expansion of find the units place in the expansion of Six thirty-two to the power one twenty-nine. My dear friend, I can ask you the question: Find units place in the expansion of six thirty-two power one twenty-nine. Then how can we handle this question, sir? Simple. First, focus on the units place. Write it like two power one twenty-nine. If it is six thirty-two, also our focus is only on units place. So two power one twenty-nine. After this, you try to analyze that. Okay, two power one twenty nine. You know why we are writing two power one twenty nine because of units place, right? So next after this, what is your task? You start analyze this two power scenario. How to analyze it? What is two power one two two square four? Here I am not getting same units place. It is changing. Okay, let it be. After some time, it is going to repeat. Wait for that. Two cube is eight. Okay, two power four is nothing but 16 units place is 6 my dear and 2 power 5 32 units place is 2 2 power 6 is 64 units place is 4 now you analyze after every four powers same thing is repeated that is why we call it like cyclicity 4 cyclicity 4 we said because after every four power same units place were repeated 2 power 7 is 128 Units place is eight. Two power eight is two fifty six. Units place is six. You can check here. After every four power, same units place we are getting. So that is why we call cyclicity four. Okay. So every cyclicity four, then how to approach the question? Your answer can be two or four or eight or six. Among this only, it can be two or four or eight or six. But how to decide? How to decide whether it is two? How to decide whether it is four, eight, six? Which one? How to decide that? Right? Okay. So see how to decide this two, four, eight, six is. Divide the power with four. See the simple analysis. Divide the power with four. Four three times twelve. Four two times eight. One is the remainder. Right? Everybody see. Divide the power with four. One is the remainder. Then two power one twenty nine is like two power one. We have to write. This remainder should come into the power. Why I am dividing with four is because of cyclicity four. Because of cyclicity four, I am dividing power with four. Then whatever remainder comes, you put it in the power. Two power one means two, right? So two power one twenty nine definitely end with two. So answer is two, two power one twenty nine definitely end with the two. Sir, I'm not getting that. Listen, very simple point. What I want to conclude, you people know two power nine is five to all. Means units place is two, right? Just try to understand from the one which you know already. You know two power nine is five to all, and the units place is nothing but two, right? Now what I am telling you the procedure: divide power with four. What is the power here? Nine. Okay. Divide with four. Four two times eight. Remainder is one. Means I can write two power one. Two power one is nothing but two. That's why you got for two power nine five two l. Our units place is two. Similarly, for two power one twenty nine we'll get two. The procedure. Copy up to here. I'll let you know the procedure what to be done. Copy up to here, please. Cyclicity four. Okay, note down the question. Find units place in the expansion of six thirty two power one twenty nine. First, we have to try two power one twenty nine. Copy the question and copy the solution. Please. Still, still, some outline need to be given. Don't worry, I will take care of. 
just copy the things one by one one by one that is the question and after that we did analysis we came to know it is having cyclicity 4 when you know it is having cyclicity 4 so what you have to do we have to divide power with 4 <coughs> Right? Okay. This is the basic thing. Whenever we have a doubt, you can check here. We are dividing power with 4. What or remainder come? That is substituted in the power. Right? As this 2 power 129, we divide the power 129 with 4. Then we got the remainder as 1. Okay. We just substituted in the power here. So, we can write it like 2. Excellent concept this is. While writing program without using any predefined syntax, you can learn a lot of things actually. I'll give two inputs, number and power. Then you have to write the program to find the units place. It will give a lot of good knowledge when you try writing program for this. Right, okay. Then... Now, what is the approach I just want to convey you people is, see, it is not only for 2, I discussed for 2, right? I said for 2, 3, 7, 8 also, cyclicity 4. Not only for 2, 3, 7, 8 also, cyclicity 4 only. How, sir? You just check it out. You just check it out. 3 power 1 is 3. Okay, 3 power 5. 3 power 5 is 243. Both ending with units place 3 only. After every 4 powers, you can see that. After every 4 powers, both are ending with 3 only. 3 square 9. 3 power 6 is nothing but 3 cube into 3 cube. 27 into 27, 729. 27 into 27, we will get 729. Seven twenty nine means units place is nine. So you can see again after every power four, four powers are there. Okay, so that's why cyclicity four. Not only for two, three, seven, eight also same scenario. Cyclicity four. What is cyclicity four? Your job is very simple. I'll give the outline now. Okay, what you should do is you take the power. Guys, listen. Take the power. Divide by four. After dividing the power with 4, if remainder is nothing but 1 or 2 or 3, this is one important point. If REM means reminder. I am putting in short reminder. If remainder is 1 or 2 or 3, substitute that in the power. But if remainder is 0, very important point is this. I will explain this now. If remainder is 0, substitute power equal to 4. So, what is this remainder 0? Why we need to substitute power as 4? Listen, when a number is divided by 4, we cannot get remainder 4, you know. When a number is divided by 4, remainder will be 0, 1, 2, 3. If it is 1 or 2 or 3, okay, directly put in the power. If remainder is 0, if remainder is 0, what is the problem is, listen, see, remainder 1 means 2 power 1, remainder 2 means 2 power 2, remainder 3 means 2 power 3, then when you got 2 power 4, when you will get 2 power 4, right? That's what the problem. When you will get 2 power 4 is when remainder is 0, then put power as 4. See, this 4 is divided by 4. This 8 also divided by 4. Remainder 0. When this power 8 is there, divide by 4, we will get remainder 0. When now remainder is 0, put the power as 4. So 2 power 8, write it as 2 power 4. 2 power 4 means 16. Units place is 6. So, not only for this going forward, okay, well, it is 2, 3, 7, 8. If any number is ending with 2, 3, 7, 8, okay, follow the same thing. Divide the power with 4, okay. If remainder is 1 or 2 or 3, substitute that in the power. If remainder is 0, substitute power equal to 4. Just copy this.
Note down these points. Right now, what is left over? See, we have <coughs> zero to nine units. Place should be occupied by zero to nine. We are done with zero one five six. Zero one five six. We will get zero one five six is the answer that we already concluded for zero one five six. In fact, this is called cyclicity one. I mean, same thing will come. This we can say cyclicity one also if required. Same thing will repeat. <coughs> So zero one five six completed two three seven eight completed two three seven eight is cyclicity four. Now finally two things are left over, which is nothing but four and nine. Two things left over is four and nine. This is having cyclicity two. This is having cyclicity two. Four and nine is having cyclicity two. Now, how to analyze these questions with cyclicity two is listen four power one is four four power two is sixteen six four power three is sixty four units place is four four power four two fifty six units place is six right so one thing if you analyze here why cyclicity two is okay after two power same thing is repeated. Don't waste your time doing like this. I simply say, four power odd number is always end with four. You see, one and three are odd numbers. That's why four. Four power even number end with six. This analysis you try. Even number ending with six. Odd number ending with four. Okay. This is for four. What about nine, sir? Nine power one ending with nine. Nine square is eighty one one. Nine cube, sir. If you if you know nine cube, seven twenty nine ending with nine. Nine power four can be written as nine square into nine square. One into one will get one only. Okay, now if you observe, this is having cyclicity two. This is also having cyclicity two after two powers. Or else, what you can conclude similar to the previous nine power odd number ending with nine. Nine power even number ending with one. My reference cyclicity two you can climb, or else simply nine power odd number is nine. Nine power even number is one. Four power odd number is four. Four power even number is six. With this, all units places okay occupying the different digits zero to nine is completed. So I'll just give the summary again. So please check it out once. Note down this. Okay, now what's the summary? I hope you people done so far. Okay, so let's see the summary point. Number power something. Okay, how to analyze the units place is what we are discussing. All right. So now if you see the summary, okay, if it is zero or one or five or six, we have cyclicity one. Means same thing should come. This this occupying unit space power something then zero power something zero only one power something one only five power positive digit five six power positive digit six only whereas for four and nine cyclicity is two and instead of that cyclicity two we have a simple analysis four power odd number four four power even number is six nine power odd number nine nine power even number is one whereas similarly two three seven eight cyclicity equal to four. Two power, okay. One two two power one two power two two power three two power four 
or 3 power 1, 3 power 2, 3 power 3, 3 power 4. So, depends or this is cycle after every 4 power, same thing will repeat. Sir, if suppose, my dear, see, if you understand this, what have we discussed so far, that methodology will save some time in your exam. No, sir, I am not able to identify or remember. This is like Bahadding, sir, for us. I am not able to remember 2, 3, 7, 8 is cyclicity 4 or 0, 1, 5, 6 is cyclicity 1. I am not able to know which is having cyclicity 1, which is having cyclicity 2. I am not able to remember that in exam. If that is the case, my dear friend, then simple thought process, very simple thought process to solve the question is anything, whether it is 0, 1, I hope you copied or it's not done, please do it. Hardly 3 lines, it will take 10 to 15 seconds only, copy it. Now, irrespective of whether it is cyclicity 1 or 2 or 4, my next point, what I am giving, will be the okay, uh, method which will no need of remembering this 1, 2, 4 and all, cyclicity 1, 2, 4 and all. Okay, we can do without all these points also. But if you know this, you can save some 10 to 15 seconds in exam. Now, what is my next point is very simple. Whether it is cyclicity 1 or 2, it will definitely satisfy cyclicity 4. See, if everything repeat after every 1 hour, cyclicity means it is repeating. If something is repeating after every 1 hour, it will repeat after every 4 hours also. If something is repeating after every 2 hours, it will definitely repeat after 4 hours. So, what is simple point? This is the alternate thing. Every question, every question take power divide by 4. Every question. So, when it is, okay, m power n model, where m is the number, n is the power. For all m power n models, you can directly take the power, divide by 4. If remainder is 1, 2, 3, it will substitute that in the power directly. If remainder is 0, change power equal to 4. This will satisfy for everything. How can you say, sir? That's what I am telling you, dear. If something is repeated after every 1 hour, definitely it will repeat every 4 hours also. Cyclicity 1 will also satisfy cyclicity 4. Maybe for circuit branch students, we can see in second year and all, okay, maybe in your intermediate also, period city, period city or period, sign period is 2 pi, cos, okay, tan, we have that period, right? So that's what we keep repeat after certain period. So this is what cyclicity after certain time it will repeat. If it repeats after every one hour, it will definitely repeat after four hours. This will satisfy four also. One and two will satisfy four also. That's what, okay, you can go with this simple point to solve the question. Now we'll see the questions related to this given in the booklet. Okay, copy this if you are okay with cyclicity one, two, four, if you remember. Okay, then definitely you have 10 to 15 seconds time saving and you have a justification also why we have to divide with 4 and all you came to know after all that discussion. Now see the questions dear. Related to units place are last digit only. Then we'll go for, okay, factors are divisors concept also, don't worry. Now, let us see about the first question here. Oh, yeah, fine. So, fine. Now my first question is find units place. Find units place. We have given five questions here. So see the first question. Find units place in 3 power 99 multiplied with 7 power 1000. So what is your analysis? 3 power 999 multiplied with 7 power 1000. What I said, take the power, divide by 4 and put the remainder in the power. That's sufficient for any question I said. And in fact, one more shortcut, you know, when you want to divide by 4, last to 2 digits is sufficient. Last to 2 digits is sufficient. No need to take the big number and waste your time. Here, 99 is sufficient. When you divide 99 with 4, okay, 
four two times eight we got okay twenty four times ninety six right so for dividing by four the rule is last two digits is absent so three is the remainder this will be three power three no sir I will take nine hundred and ninety nine you do that also you will get three only remainder my dear friend you do that also three only remainder thousand or zero is exactly divided by zero four zero is divided by four sorry okay so I'll write seven power four. Remainder zero here. Zero divided by four will get zero only. Okay, so zero only will come, right? So when remainder is zero, we clearly mentioned we had to put okay power as four. So that's why we put power as four. Now three power three, sir. Three power three, twenty-seven. Right? Only units place seven. So seven power four, I don't know. Write it seven square into seven square. Seven power four is two thousand four not one if I'm not wrong. But still fine. Okay, if you don't know, write it like seven square into seven square. No issues. That's what. Don't take too much things into your mind. You can write seven square into seven square. So here seven into seven square is forty nine. Units place is nine. Seven square forty nine. Units place is nine. Nine into nine is eighty-one. Units place is one. Nine into nine is eighty-one. Units place is one. So seven into one is seven. So your answer will be seven, my dear friend. Seven power four is seven square into seven square. Seven square is forty-nine. Units place nine. Here seven square forty-nine. Units place nine. Nine into nine eighty-one. Units place one. We got seven into one seven was the answer. You can check it out. Okay, you have option A, seven. So see the analysis. Okay, we went for the second approach. In fact, three and seven are cyclicity four only. You people know using that point also. But don't waste your time. If it is a big number, take last two digits only. Divide by four. Nine nine divided by four. Three is the remainder. Thousand divided by four. Remainder is zero. When remainder is zero, substitute power equal to four. Now think about writing program for this concept here. Think about those who are interested. You people can start write program for this type of questions. Okay, or at least m power n model. When they given y m and n, how to find the units place without using any predefined syntax? Next one. See the second question. I hope this is very easy for you. Such a big number, right? But we don't worry. We don't worry. Our concept is simple. This is all nine. Sir, power is one lakh ten thousand sixteen. Sir, okay, no problem. We know nine power even number. Nine power even number always end with one. Simple. Nine power even number always end with one. We know nine cyclicity two. No, sir, you said cyclicity four only to do. This is one method. If you know nine power even number ending with one, you can go ahead. Or else, try to divide power with the four. In power, dividing by four, last two digits is sufficient. When you divide sixteen with four, remainder is zero. When remainder is zero, we have to substitute power equal to four. Nine power four will come. So nine power four, I don't know. Right? Nine square into nine square. Nine square is eighty one. One, one into one is nothing but one. See, answer is one only. Either method one or method two. Method one is using the discussion. Okay, we said nine power odd number always end with nine. Nine power even number always end with one. <coughs> right. Okay. So this is what the scenario. Hope you are clear. Let's go to the next one. Hope you understand this. Let's see the next question. Yeah, you need to find units place. Our last digit means same only. Don't worry. Units place the last digit means same thing. So for this big 
numbers you need to find units place so this is the question 2171 power 7 2172 power 9 2173 power 11 2174 power 13 the simple thing what you can do take only units place 1 power 7 Two power. It's not only multiplication. They can do addition also like this. Sometimes they'll give combination of both. One power seven, two power nine, three power eleven, four power thirteen. Is it? So one power seven is nothing but one. So I know two power nine. Or else divide nine with four. We'll got remainder of one. 2 power 1 or 2 power 9 is 5 to 1. You know units place is 2 only. 11 also divide with 4. 4 3 2 8. 3 2 12 will get 4. 4 2 8 3 3 power 3. 11. I said okay, what we can divide everything with power All power should be divided by four. Also correct for me. Here four power odd number four. Or else divide power with four also fine. Guys, two points again. I repeat. One is using four power odd number is always four. That concept. Or else you can divide all powers individually with four. What are remainders comes that you can put it right. Now here we got one. 2 power 9 we had written like 2 power 1 right okay now 1 plus 2 plus 3 power 3 is nothing but 27 units place is 7 only 4 power 1 is nothing but 4 we can write it like 4 now 1 plus 2 plus 7 is 10 10 plus 4 14 sir 4 only units place only we have to write sir why you written 7 some people will argue here My dear friend, I am clear with the point. Please keep in mind units place only. Sir, here fourteen. Sir, you are writing four only units place. Our discussion is units place last digit. Focus only on that. Your answer should be four. Okay, you can see there is an option B. Okay, the last digit option B is the answer. Last digit or units place is nothing but equal to four. 1 power 7 2 power 9 3 power 11 check it out all this 4 power 13 right okay let's see about the next question i hope you understand how we solve this now let's see about this fourth question dear <clears throat> Two power eleven, sorry, two eleven power eight twenty, one forty six power one twenty seven, three power four twenty four. Check this. Units place only they are asking. First, what we have to write one power eight seventy. This question is a combination of addition and multiplication. Next, this is six power one twenty seven. This is three power four twenty four. One power anything is anyhow one only. In the this is see six power n six. If you know that's what ten seconds you can save time. Six power n is always ending with six. Or else I have to take twenty seven, divide with four, four six times twenty four. Remainder is three. I, you can put six power three. And here three power four twenty four last two digits is twenty four. Divide twenty four with four, not with three. Everything divided by four only. Power divided by four. We got remainder zero. When remainder is zero, put it like power four. Right. <clears throat> Now six cube is six only. Two sixteen six only. Three power four eighty one units place is one. Now don't do the mistake. First we have to do multiplication, then addition. 
in this question some people do addition multiplication also fine you may get answer but you have to always go with both mass rule multiplication first then addition so if you do multiplication first you will get 6 then do addition 1 plus 6 is nothing but equal to 7 answer is 7 fill the blank question given in gate exam in gate exam you have a scope to ask fill the blank questions right Sir, I know 6 power 127 ending with 6 only. Yeah, you can directly write 6. No issue. 6 all up to you. 3 power 424, sir. Yeah, this 24 also directly you can write. 24 is divided by 4. Remainder is 0. When now remainder is 0, replace with power 4. You just keep in mind that point. When remainder is 0, power should be replaced by 4. That's what you can check it out here. Okay, simple instructions here. Simple English. Right, so now see this next one. Units is it of 35 power 87, 93 power 46. Five power eighty-seven plus three power forty-six. Five is there in the units place, right? So you people know five power anything is ending with five. You can directly write if you know R S if you are able to remember R S divide with four. Same policy for twenty-one times eighty-four. Three is the remainder. So four five power three. Forty-six also divide with the four. 2 is the remainder. We can write 3 power 2. 5 power 3 is 125 by 3 power 2 is 9. 5 plus 9 is 14. Answer is units place ending with 4. Right. So option A is the correct answer. Series. So far we discussed the units place are we can say okay last digit concept i hope you people understand the point right now back to one more important point which is not discussed in this units place is we discuss certain things fine okay but still there is one point which we missed during the discussion so far i given all questions in the power Okay, if power is something like how to handle all. Now let us see the other side of the coin. The questions which we can see the other way is like they may ask you find units place find units place in 123 factorial. My dear friends, see this is a n factorial. My question previously were done with m power n format. If it is in m power n, okay, m is a number, n is a number, we are done. Now I am going with p factorial, find the units place in factorial. If it is 123 factorial, what is the units place? Find units place in 123 factorial. Okay, now how to handle this type of question? Find units place in 123 factorial. See here. My dear friends, if it is n factorial, we know n into n minus 1 into n minus 2 into so on up to 2 into 1, right? Okay. This is n factorial basically, right? Now, 3 factorial is nothing but 3 into 2 into 1, 6. 4 factorial is nothing but 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 which is 24. Now, important thing, one simple point, after 5 factorial, anything will end with 0 only. 5 factorial is 120. 6 factorial is 720. 7 factorial is 5040. 8 factorial is 40,320. 8 factorial is 40,320. So, after 5 factorial, after 5 factorial, everything end with 0 only. So, for this question, answer is simple 0. 
find the units place in 123 factorial is nothing but zero after 5 factorial greater or greater than or equal to 5 factorial whether it is 5 or above that all end with 0 only yeah 5 factorial 120 6 factorial 16 to 5 factorial 720 right so note down that point first copy this then you can note down that summary copy this first Five factorial, six factorial, seven factorial, eight factorial. Right. Now, what's the point I just want to convey is n factorial units place is zero if n is greater than or equal to five. N factorial units place is always 0 if n is greater than or equal to 5. Now, to check whether people understand this point or not, how many of you can answer this question? Find last digit in 1 factorial plus 2 factorial plus 3 factorial. So on up to 99 factorial. Guys, anyone can give the answer for this? 1 factorial, 2 factorial, 3 factorial plus 99 factorial. So on up to. So on up to 99 factorial. 1, 2, 3, so on up to 99. So what you can do? In this expansion, we can stop your discussion only up to 4 factorial. Then for remaining all, you can put it like 0. We know for n factorial ends with 0 because we want only last digit. If you want last digit, we will check only units place. Units place is already 0 for n greater than or equal to 5. So from 5 onwards, waste of time in discussion, you can stop there, right? Now what you can do? For 1 factorial 1 set, 2 factorial is 2, 3 factorial is 6, 4 factorial 24, units place is 4. We are focusing only on units place, no deviations in that. Now, here 9 plus 4, 13, units place is 3 only. Units place is 3 only. Okay, so if you want to find last digit in 1 factorial, 2 factorial, so on up to 99 factorial or 1000 factorial also, your answer is simply 3. Okay, so hope you understand this. Right. Now, next concept is, next concept is like we have to focus on factors or devices. Factors or devices. So far, only one concept we came to know, units place or last digit concept. So we just have a discussion like cyclicity 4 and dividing all those things. Right. The now next important thing is factors are divisors. Factors are divisors. So, in this factors are divisors, how to solve the question or what is the basic thing, right? Now, my dear friend, see, factors of 6, if you want factors of 6 means, which numbers are dividing 6? 1 is dividing 6, 2 is dividing 6, 3 is dividing 6, 6 is also dividing 6, right? And similarly, factors of 12, what are the factors of 12? Which numbers are dividing 12 is 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 
right? Then we can go with 12. Okay. In exam, they are asking number of factors. Okay, number of factors is equal to 4. Number of factors is nothing but 4 in this case. Whereas in the next case, number of factors is 6. Sir, if it is 6 and 12, very easy. Why you are discussing this? My dear friend, in exam, they are asking, find the number of factors for 1800, 2400, like that they are asking. They are asking in thousands range, not in this range. And sir, no, I will write the entire list. My dear, see, some people may be thinking about writing the entire list in exam is not an easy task. Check it out here. What is the number of factors for 180? I am handling in hundreds only. That to take in 180. See, many people will take two minutes time to solve this question. Factors of 180 directly if you want to write the list. And second point, you may miss some factors. Let's try everyone. Which are numbers dividing 180s? 1, sir. It's divided by 2. It's divided by 3. Divide by 4. Divide by 5. Divide by 6. Yes. Divide by 7. No. Divide by 8. No. Divided by 9. Yes. Divide by 10. Yeah. 12. See this. When you write all this, somewhere you miss some factors. It's divided by 15. Okay, some people will write other things also. It's divided by 18. It's divided by 20. It's divided by 24, no, 30. Yeah, it's divided by 30. It's divided by 36. 36, 5 times is 180. It's divided by 45. It's divided by 45, okay, 60. Yeah, it's divided by 90. It's divided by 180. When you write all this list, you know, somewhere you people do mistakes. You are adding some extra factor, missing one of these factors. I am talking about 1800. So definitely we will do some mistakes. So what is the count if you see here? No, 18 is the count. If you just count number of factors here, we got this is 5. Here we have 5, 10. Up to here 15. Here we have 3 more, 18. So we have total 18 factors. Factors are divisors, so number of factors is 4, 6, and 18. Okay. Now, what about big numbers, sir? If they're given a big number, how to handle factors for the big numbers? Right? Okay. We'll see about that. How to handle factors for a big number, 1800 and all. First, learn the logic from the small thing, then apply for the bigger ones. That's what the basic thing. Okay. I'll just explain for 12, for 12. Okay, then we'll go for the big number. 180 also we'll check. So for any number, what are the number they are given? I suggest you people to write it like prime number power. I hope you people copied the previous thing. So factors for 6, 12. Okay, write the entire list. Then give the number of factors. In exam, they are asking number of factors only. I do agree. But first write the list. Then go for the number of factors. Okay. So that you, you may understand. Okay, what is the factors first of all? Devices factor same meaning only. Now for 12, write it like prime number power. 12 can be written as 3 into 4. 3 is prime number. 4 can be written as 2 square. Yes, this is also prime number power. Number is 3 power 1 into 2 square. Then how to calculate number of factors, you know, after writing prime number power. I will give the proof also, don't worry. Your job is, after writing prime number power, Add 1 to the power. Here power is 1, right? Add 1 to the power. Here power is 2, right? Add 1 to the power. And then multiply. I will explain why you have to do this. 2 into 3 is 6. Wait for a minute. Okay, I will give the explanation. Don't worry. Our job is, okay, write prime number power. After writing prime number power, for that power add 1. And then multiply. 2 into 3 is 6, right? You can see for 12 number of the factors is 6. Wait, for 180 also check the procedure. Why you have to add 1 and all, I will explain, don't worry. For 180, for 180, what is the procedure here? Write it like prime number power. I will write 18 into 10. 18 is not prime number, 10 is not prime number. 18 as 2 into 9, 10 as 2 into 5. Yeah, now 2 into 2, 2 square, right? 2 powers all one side only. 9 as 3 square. 
5 as 5 power 1. Now, 180 in terms of prime number power is this. Okay, 2 square into 3 square into 5. Now, okay, what is number of factors is as per the procedure, add 1 to the power. Add 1 to the power. Power is 2, add 1. Power is 2, add 1. Power is 1, add 1. For power, we have to add 1. Then it is 3 into 3 into 2, which is altogether 18. So you check it out once, my dear friend. You check it out once here. You got 18 already. Number of factors is 18. Okay, so it's satisfied. Okay, why you are adding 1? That I will discuss now. Don't worry. So the simple theme is write it like prime number power. Okay, after writing as prime number power, don't put twos in separately. All twos combined. You write twos all combined at one place only. Okay. So once you got prime number power, add 1 to the power and then multiply. Okay. So hope you copied this. Prime number power. Now, what's the procedure as per the question is? Okay, just now what we discussed, I'm just giving the outline. Then why you have to do also will be given. Will give clear clarity, don't worry. So, what are the number it is? You have to write A power M, C power B power N, C power P, so on. Here A, B, C are prime numbers. These are nothing but prime numbers. Means we have to write given number as prime number power. Prime numbers. Okay, A, B, C, you written as prime numbers. Then, then, number of factors is, number of factors is nothing but M plus 1 into N plus 1 into P plus 1. And so on. If you have still some more prime numbers and power something is there, okay, that also fine. This is the procedure we give us. Now, many people have a doubt in your mind, sir. Why this plus one? Why this plus one, sir? Okay, so I'll give the justification for that. And you need to focus more on that, dear. Why that? Okay, if you want to understand the reason, everybody please focus now for a couple of minutes. Up to here, I hope you people copied number of factors. Done right. Great. Now see, why we have to do plus one? That reason will be need to justify it. Okay. I take that example 12 only. Number equal to 12. Okay, you know... The factors for 12 is 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 12, right? Okay. Now, what I said? Okay, write 12 in terms of prime number power. So, means 3 power 1 into 2 square. My dear friend, listen. 3 power 1 means internally, we have 3 power 0 and 3 power 1. I'll explain why, why that. Okay, wait, wait. 2 square means internally, you have 2 power 0. 2 power 1 and 2 square. Internally, you have these numbers. So, what is that? I am not understanding. Wait, you can check now. 3 power 0 is nothing but 1. 3 power 1 is 3. 2 power 0 is nothing but 1. 2 power 1 is 2. 2 square is 4. 2 square means internally you have 3 numbers. That is why, okay, we taken plus 1. Here, power 2 means 3 numbers. Here, power 1 means 2 numbers. So, why this significance? Now, listen. What is 1 into 1? 1 covered. 1 into 2? 2, 2 covered. 1 into 4? 4, 4 covered. This all 3 numbers covered. Next one, with 3. With respect to 3. Try with 3. 3 into 1? 3. 3 into 2? 6. 3 into 4? 12. Previously already, 4 is covered. Okay, see, all these factors are covered. 
we have the factors 1 2 3 4 6 12 that will be covered only when you have to write internally like this 3 power 1 means internally 3 power 0 3 power 1 2 square means internally 2 power 0 2 power 1 2 square here we have extra number power 1 means here two numbers are there power 2 means here three numbers are there so two numbers here three numbers that's why okay we added plus 1 okay we added plus 1 here this is the reason here m means internally a power 0 a power 1 a square that's what i am telling you here a power m means a power 0 a power 1 so on up to a power m see i can write the formula this is the way you need to learn i am not di dictating like that you have to know the reason okay then only you can write some program also for this yes might be i always think in programming point next class maybe okay people should be ready to write the program when a number is given in programming point though it's very easy to write how to define the number of factors for the given number when number is given you have to know how many factors are there and you have to print the list of those factors also you can think about this is different case but when you write the program you know that's a different style printing number of factors and factors for that number both i want that list means i i want like this okay what is the factors of 120 entirely should be displayed by your program and total number of factors also i want you can write program it's not this much complicated required m plus one n plus one not required we can do in different style also while write doing programming okay there are still a lot of cases like even factors odd factors number of perfect square factors okay but that's not required for your placements that they're asking in cat exam and all i don't want to uh, put your okay things too many things into your mind you can calculate number of even factors odd factors sum of factors product of factors still all those is available in one of the link uh, which i explained if you want i'll share that also but not required for placements point of view that's all required for cat exam and all right okay so two concepts completed units place and factors are devices and i think we have a couple of questions related to that in the booklet we'll complete i think still we have time we'll complete within a couple of minutes the factors are devices so how two questions related to that you have three questions fine now one question is here for 2100 what is the number of divisors or factors your job is what write it like prime number power 21 into 100 21 as 3 into 7 100 as 4 into 25 now you will get all prime number powers 3 power 1 7 power 1 2 square 5 square you got all prime number powers now number of divisors number of divisors is nothing but add 1 to the power 2 into 2 into 3 into 3 which is nothing but 36 in exam you imagine writing all 36 factors is difficult not on the solution we have two more questions to discuss do it fast Write it like prime number power. Yes, we recognize prime number power here. Then add 1 to the power. Put all 2s in one place, all 5s in one place. Don't write 5 square as 5 into 5 separately. Then adding 1 is a wrong approach. The other question here is number of positive factors for 2048 yeah factors are all positive integers only and we are taking all different only all distinct positive integer only we are taking so no problem so write it like prime number power 2048 so if you just okay take it like split it okay so what do we can do this is 2 into 1024 it's directly 2 power 11 right 2 power 11 the number of factors is 12 
why 2 power 10 is 1024? Is it 2 power 11 is 2040? I can write directly as okay, this is what okay, 2040 only question. So we have number of factors equal to 12 here. Write it like prime number power 2040 is simply okay, we can go ahead with 2 power 11. So number of factors is 12. One question left over, this is the one. Which of the following has 24 positive factors? 24 factors. Some people are saying option A. My dear friend, this 21 is not prime number. Don't do directly plus 1 to the power. You need prime number. Option C, if you try, 2 power 5 into 3 cube. Yeah, both are prime numbers. Number of factors is nothing but, okay, adding 1 to the power is 6 into 4, 24, okay. It's not only option C, option D also you try. In GRE exam, they are giving M MSQ questions also. 63 can be written as 7 into 9. 9 means 3 square. 55 as 5 into 11. So, 7 into 3 square into 5 power 1 into 11 power 1. Now, number of factors. This is also correct for your info. Two correct answers here. MSQ question, multiple correct answers. Number of factors is 2 into 3 into 2 into 2. 24. Add 1 to the power and then multiply. Okay, we are on time. I hope you understand. If you have still doubt, please okay, drop the message in your group. We will address all those things.